This time we have a different data set. Here we have data from Simiu, Honda Jaga, and Kogatende, three different locations in the Serengeti. Let's see how we can work with these data. Let's make a graph and let's, as we did before, put month on the x-axis and put wildebeest population on the y-axis. So you'll notice we have more points than we did before. And if we point at them, this one's from Simiu. This one is from Kogatende. So we have three different locations mixed up in this graph. How can we make it more understandable? We can separate the locations. And to do that, we grab location and we pull it to the very top of the graph. And notice it says that we'll lay them out side by side by location. So let's drop it there and we'll see now we have three graphs, one for each location. And we can even change the order of these graphs by moving the labels around. So we can put them next to one another in whatever order if we want to compare two different graphs. Let's name this graph. So let's call this Wildebeest three locations. And you'll see in a bit why we want to label it that way. Now let's say we're also interested in the buffalo. Let's make another graph. Let's put month on the x-axis, buffalo on the y-axis. And again, we'll take location and we'll put it up at the top so that we now have three different graphs of buffalo population. Now the screen's getting a little bit crowded, so let's minimize this graph by clicking on the minus, not the X because the X will get rid of it, but this will minimize it. And let's then also name this other graph by clicking here and we can call this buffalo three locations. And now notice that I have multiple graphs on the screen. I didn't have to get rid of one in order to make another one. And over here on the tiles menu, I can see everything that I have. I have a table called the Serengeti data in 1970. I have wildebeest three locations and buffalo three locations. And one other very neat thing we can do is if we have both of these graphs open and we choose one point in this graph, notice that it shows up in the other graph and in the table. So the table and the two graphs are all linked.